The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, first chapter, text number eleven and twelve, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on July thirteenth, nineteen seventy-three, in London, England. Translation: Then Bhishma, the great valiant grandsire of the Kuru dynasty the grandfather of the fighters, blew his conch shell very loudly, like the sound of a lion, giving Duryodhana joy. Duryodhana was doubting that my grandfather, Bhishma, is more affectionately inclined to the other party. So, he may not be lenient in fighting, so in order to encourage the Jadhan, Krasa Sanjanayan Harisam. I don't think that I am uh, lenient, I am strong. Immediately to encourage him, he blew his concert. Nowadays they uh, use Bibu, formerly the concerts uh, were used by the kings. Uh, and not that in modern days the fighting takes place. Uh, the poor soldiers, they come to fight, and the leaders, uh, they remain in safety place. It is not like that. All of them came out. Chatriya, Bhishma they came, Vidyadam came, Ujjum came, and face to face they have to fight. Not that the poor soldiers should fight and live anywhere in a secure place. No. Tasya Sanyayanam Harsam Kuruvidha. Kuruvidha, the oldest man in the dynasty, Kuru dynasty, Pitavaha, who is the grandfather of Ojjan and Dujjadhan, the Dhritarashtra's elder uncle. His father, Sailagra, he was a very old man, Brahmachari, and in that old age also he was taking the risk of fighting. This is Satriya spirit. Not that only Dhritarashtra was escaping, not escaping, because he was physically incapable, blind. Therefore, he did not come in the battlefield. Otherwise, uh, even Bhishma Dev, in such old days, he also can. This is Tatriya spirit. When there is fight, uh, there is no rest. Uh, and fight means either the other party should be killed or I shall be killed. Not that. Without any decision, the fighting will be stopped. No, that cannot be. When there is two parties, uh, must be belligerent, one party. The decision is that either you kill me or I kill you. Not that uh, without killing, one, without being killed one of us, the fighting cannot be stopped. Uh, it's like Jarasandha was fighting with Bhima. Uh, in daytime, the fight was, fighting was going on. And at night, Bhima was a guest uh, of Jarasandha. Uh, as guest is honored, respect, respected, all the parties. But during daytime, the fighting was going on. And this fighting went on for twenty-eight days. Still there was no decision. Then Krishna gave hint. Bhishma, uh, Bhim, Bhim, that Jarasandha has got a defect. He is joined, two bodies joined. So if you bifurcate him, then he will be killed. So later on Bhim said, took that policy and Jarasandha was killed. So among the Kshatriyas, when there is fighting, unless one party is killed, the fighting cannot be stopped. This is the battle of Kurukshetra to see the history of the former kings and Kshatriyas. 
how they are determined. This is one of the qualifications of Kshatriya, not to go away from the fighting. When there is challenge of fighting, immediately a Kshatriya would accept. That is Kshatriya spirit. Ishara Bhavant and ruling over others and charitable. These are the symptoms of Kshatriya. They are described in the Bhagavad Gita. Brahman qualification, Kshatriya qualification, Vaishya qualification, Shudra qualification. So, very nice arrangement, Vedic civilization. Everyone is guided by the superior. The Brahmana guides the Kshatriya. The Kshatriya guides the Vaishyas, and the Vaishya employs the Sudras, Kāthit Vannakvaya system guna karma vibhāga. In this way, four divisions of Brahman, Kshatri, Vaishya, they manage the whole society so nicely. The Kshatriyas, as the Kshatriyas' business was to give protection to the citizens, Similarly, Vaishya's duty was to give protection to the animals. Fishing Guru Kshabhanidyam Vaishya Karma Sabhav. Vaishya, they should engage themselves in agricultural production and giving protection to the cows, especially mentioned. Goraksha. Goraksha, cow protection. It is one of the items of state affairs. And now there is no cow protection. Poor cows, they deliver milk and later on they become slaughtered. How much sinful the modern society is and they still want peace and prosperity. That is not possible. The society must be divided. Brahman, Kshatri, Vaishya, Sudra. And they must execute their proper duty. And the Vaishya, they should give protection to the cow. And the Sudra, they should walk under the direction of the higher three divisions. In this way, there will be a nice management. Then, as it is stated during the reign of Maharaj Vishti, Kāvaṁ bhavarsa pujyanya, the nature also will help. If you keep things all right, according to the direction, the nature also will help you. Nature will give you sufficient food stuff. Bhavarsa pujyanya, kāvaṁ. Whatever the necessities of life, it will be supplied by nature simply by proper pouring of water, vrishti. Actually, now the whole world is suffering for drought. There is scarcity of rain. And if the rain is stopped for one or two years more, there will be havoc. It is already there, havoc. In India there is famine because they are more, mostly agriculturists. So there is famine. In other countries they have got industries. But India is not so industrially advanced. So without water, uh, nothing can be produced. Therefore, during Maharaj Yudhishthira's time, kāvaṁ bhavarsa pujyanya, jajñār bhavati pujyanya. If you want sufficient water, uh, then you must perform yoga. These are the indications. Direction of the Vedic wisdom. In the, at the present moment, no other yoga is possible. The only yoga, Sankirtan yoga, is possible. Yagai Sankirtanai Prahi Yajanti Hi Sami. So in this Krishna consciousness movement is taken seriously all over the world. And they perform some feet and get gone. Everything will be adjusted immediately. Everything. But this rascal will not take it. They will suffer. Otherwise, 
All directions are there. People have to take the advantage of direction. Perfect direction, without any mistake. And they will be here. So, we are trying to uh, introduce this Krishna consciousness movement so that people may come to their senses, take advantage of it, and be happy. Thank you very much.